Narco, narco, got dope like Pablo. Pablo, cut dope like Pablo. Cut dope, chop tree with the Draco. Draco. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hello, my name is Evelyn. Don't forget to like and subscribe and show my channel some love. And let's get into today's video. It's been a while since we last sat down here and gotten ready. So I decided to do a get ready with me today plus a little story time. About the time that I got chased by a pit bull. Okay, so this story kind of takes place when I was in second or third grade and it was me and two of my friends. Both of my friends were sisters. We're gonna call one of them Bianca. We're gonna call the other one Sally. So Bianca was a year younger than me and Sally was two to three years younger than me. I'm not too sure. We both lived in the same apartment complex. So this apartment complex was really big. We always somehow like managed to turn the bushes into tree houses. Like we would go in the bushes and like the bushes were kind of big. We would act like those bushes were our home when we were play. That being Barbies or like babies or whatever, right? So on this very day, me, Sally and Bianca like in the mood to play with our baby dolls. So we brought all of our baby dolls outside, we bought their clothes and we went into this bush. This bush was literally right in front of the gate that led people in and out of the apartment complex. So we were like right in front of the gate. We were able to see who was coming in and who was exiting out. The thing about this gate though, in order for anyone to come in, you had to have a key. Like it was a private apartment complex, right? There is this neighborhood dog. We are going to call this dog white because the dog was white. Our co apartment complex was on this side of the street. The owner of white, they lived on the other side of the street. So we were pretty much a good distance away from each other. But the reason why everybody knew about white was because in order to get to the corner store that was literally right behind white's home, we had to pass white's owner's house in order to go to the store like we would have to walk around the house and a lot of us would always go to the corner store obviously to get chips and to get candy and to get water and like any type of snacks we wanted when we were hungry everybody knew about white because that specific home it always had its gate open all the fucking time it was like um it was like a driveway gate so every single time we would go by there we just run literally um by um white's owner's house and most of the time white see us but he would just come straight like at us and start barking he was a very aggressive dog like he would bark he would chase like he just looked like a very mean fucking dog um but white like never would leave the gate like leave his backyard like he would watch us from inside his property but he would never like run out towards the gate only like a couple of times which meant like we were never scared that white would ever like go all the way down towards our apartment complex building especially we weren't scared because when we would play inside in order for anyone to come in including dogs or anything you needed a key the you needed a key to open the gate so on this specific day we were playing babies we were playing by the bush that was literally right in front of the gate we had all of our things out there and we were just chilling we were able to see like i said before who was coming in who was coming out um a lot of my friends that i was playing with most of their family members would live there or like people they knew so they were constantly saying hi and bye and like whatnot right out of nowhere we hear there was other kids in the complex that were playing but they were like playing tag so like they were playing around us but they weren't really bothering us and we heard them screaming i remember them saying like the dog the dog but, like we were too busy playing that we didn't really pay much attention to it because the management you know what's funny now that i think about it we weren't allowed to have dogs or any type of pet inside the apartment but the only people that had pets and dogs were the managers it was a pretty sketch as co apartment complex the rules were sketch everything was pretty fucking sketch um so like they started screaming like the dogs the dogs so then we fucking thought like oh like maybe the managers like fucking dogs came out or some shit we didn't think much about it right and then sally she was facing the door while well, our backs were to the door because we were like on the other side of the bush and she was like she's like oh my god white he's like walking outside the gate remember how i said we weren't ever terrified because the freaking like in order to get in the dog 
needed a key. So the reason why I keep emphasizing, like when if you were inside the apartment complex or you, even if you were outside, you were able to see who was coming in and out, right? So you would fucking think that obviously, you know, people in their right mind wouldn't allow this dog. Okay, if we see this dog where I'm just not gonna open the door because I don't want him to come in and bite a child because there's hella kids playing outside. A few minutes passed and the dog just kind of like disappears. We don't think much of it, but we do see Mr. White's owner coming by the apartment complex and he gets near the gate and he starts looking inside and it's obviously obvious to us that he's looking for his freaking aggressive dog that barks and growls at people when they walk by but sally did tell him like oh he was just here and then he said but i think he went that way so a few minutes go by and then out of nowhere white is back he's like by the gate and then sally sees her cousin's father which is sally and bianca's uncle he was leaving the apartment complex and not only was he leaving but he sees this freaking big pit bull white outside the gate the same pit bull that his own daughter was terrified of and scared of and that they would even complain about him and guess what this guy does he opens the gate he doesn't even try to push the dog away he pushes the door the door is wide open this dog just books it in you hear kids screaming and yelling and like ah because the dog is now inside and not only is he inside but he is literally chasing every single kid inside the apartment complex. And I kid you guys not, in order, by height. We lose our shit because the dog, as soon as he came in, he obviously didn't book it to us because we were inside the bush. And thank God we were. he didn't do that because if he would have done that, we would have been stuck in that bush with the dog. And it would have been hard to get out of the bush because there's only one way in and one way out and we booked it out and like i lived on this side of the apartment complex and sally and bianca lived on the complete opposite side but in that moment i did not react and i literally booked it out of the fucking like of the bush and i just started running behind bianca and Sally was running behind me. We were running in a line and we were running straight to Sally and Bianca's house. And the scary part about it is that sometimes Bianca, Bianca's parents would lock the door when we were outside. And as Bianca's getting closer and closer to the apartment, she is screaming more and more for her mom because we didn't know if the door to her house was unlocked. And thank God, guys, like that fucking door was unlocked. Like, thank God. Because if that door wasn't unlocked, we would have gotten bitten. I I remember, like, she got in first, I got in first, Sally got in. And we were both, like, the three of us were trying to close the door because this dog's head was, like, literally in between freaking door frame and the door. And, like, we were trying to, like, close it and he was trying to get in. So, like, we kept hitting him on the side of the of his cheek with the door and like i was so terrified and then her mom comes and then her mom like helps us and we just push it and then the dog like i think we heard the dog because the dog cried and like moved his head back she's like asking what the hell was going on and like what happened and shit and like as bianca and sally were explaining the situation to their to her mom her mom legitimately just like looks over at me and she's like, okay, you can leave now. This type of situation didn't surprise me because I knew that her parents never liked me. Not even once. They like, they never fucking liked me. They were so mean to me all the fucking time. I mean, her dad wasn't, but her mom was just like always hella rude, always had an attitude and whatever the fuck not. And I remember specifically that she's like okay you can leave now like you're fine you can go home and bitch it hadn't even been like 20 30 minutes 
it had been five minutes like it wasn't that long like we literally explained what happened and after we were done explaining what happened like fucking grown-ass ladies like you can go like you can leave like i'm not trying to like act like i was her responsibility but if i was in that situation as an adult and my siblings were in second or third grade um and they were just getting chased by a fucking dog and like they're scared of this dog obviously we all know this dog was aggressive i wouldn't allow their friend to go back out there like at least i would walk with them to their apartment right and that's what adult me would do because like as an adult i feel like you have much more strength towards a dog than a child would you're able to protect yourself and this child more than a child would by themselves you know what i'm saying and i remember i was so scared and i was like what if the dog's still out there she's like it's not and like they kicked me out so like i am so terrified i start running across the fucking complex to my house and even before getting there i see my mom by the bush we were playing at and like instead of like running straight home like i turn i see her so then i run to her and i remember just hugging her and being so scared and she's like you're okay like don't worry and like my mom told me that she saw me running towards their house and she saw us like fighting to push this dog and she was so glad that we were able to close the door on the dog fast forward a couple i think it was like two or three days go by and a lot of these parents like went over to talk to the owner of the dog and told him like you need to lock your gates you need to lock your dog out like this isn't it's not safe because if this dog bites anyone like it's gonna be a problem and out of nowhere eventually like the dog just disappeared and for such a long time I had this big fear of dogs, especially pit bulls. Like, I could not stand pit bulls. I hated them so much because I just thought they were all aggressive, right? Fast forward to 2021, I think. We, well, not we, I was personally trying to convince my boyfriend to get me a dog. And I'm allergic to dogs, but I don't really care and i really wanted a dog and he's like okay i can only have a small dog in my house i can't have a big dog he was trying to look for maltese and we came across our dog copper it was on craigslist when we got copper we thought he was a maltese he was written down as a maltese copper is nowhere near close to maltese this dog is way too big right but when we got him, he was like months. He was so tiny when we got him. We also never saw the print. Usually pit bulls have like a print in the middle of their chest and we never really saw this, so we didn't even know. And it turns out that Copperoos Popperoos was a Labrador mixed pit bull. And I'm not gonna lie, I feel like my dog took away the fear i had for pit bulls because my dog is not aggressive whatsoever the dude only barks when like you're like fucking around with him and when he feels danger coming like he just he's not a barker like i he can go weeks without barking but yeah that's my story about the time that i got chased by a dog and all that crazy stuff But yeah, the moral of the story is if you are a parent and you see the neighborhood scary dog trying to go inside an apartment complex, don't let him in. And also, if you're a parent, don't ever let that child walk home by themselves after getting chased by a dog and you not knowing if that dog is still out there on the loose. But yeah. I'm going to go ahead and change into my work clothes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and show my channel some love. See you on my next video. Bye. On the north got Diego. Diego. Say I still a wiggle. Movie and rapping Kilo. Yeah. Snub nose.